For those asking about Second Light, I couldn't be more pleased. Welcome to SETI Astro. For my Second Light, uh, I imaged a region just to the east of Saturn there in Cygnus. Um, again, this is only going to be 84 minutes of exposure time. Uh, I did 12 of red, 12 of green, and only 10 of blue turned out. I, I got some high clouds in there uh, during that bit of the session, but uh, I, I you, you'll you'll see here. It, it, it's good stuff. So uh, here's the blue, here's the green, and here's the red. And the big big thing I wanted to look at was you know making sure that the coma was gone. Uh, he, here's the one to one scale. There's really really no coma at all um so I, I i'm really excited that it looks like i got the uh the coma gone there is a little elongation of the stars i think that was just um my my guiding but i mean we're i think 300 times right here for for this so uh very very minimal even even in that regard the other thing we want to look at is the uh aberrations in the corners so here's the uh, aberration inspector, and the corners on the far right for me do have a, a little bit of um, elongation or, or a little bit of aberration, and I think that is uh, potentially just a little bit of tilt in my sensor, but everything else looks so amazing, and we can compare that directly with my acro that i have been shooting everything with and this also has a uh, flattener corrector on it and you can see the the stars in the corners here are just i don't know they're these weird dart looking spaceship looking things and and it's the same with all corners and then on this side that there's this coma off to the side and this was my my previously best for smallest tightest stars and compared to the, the imaging newt here, there's not even not even comparison. I mean, these are both F4 systems, and the stars in the imaging newt are just so much smaller. It, it's it's amazing. Um, so so really really pleased with that. And then, I mean, we can compare it to the Celestron C8 with the Celestron uh, 0.63 corrector reducer. And the stars, I think we all know in SETs, just look bad, really bad in the corners, right? It, it There's so much coma in, in all of these. And I can see why people spend, you know, five, six hundred dollars for that star zona coma corrector for the uh, SETs because uh, these ones are just just really bad. But uh, so I, I couldn't be happier right now with the imaging newt it, it it's so much of a flatter field like i didn't i didn't even take flats with these yet uh that's why you got some of this darkening up up in this limb here and but for the the most part it's just so just so flat already and the the stars are, are so much tighter and again only only 84 minutes um here's the starless after i combined them all i ran spcc the SPCC graph looked great. I've never, I've never seen stars line up like this too. So, there, there really isn't much chromatic anything in there uh, if SPCC is is lined up so well like that. And then um, putting the stars back in, you know, gave me this this final image, and it's just, it's just amazing. You know, only again, only eighty four minutes. Uh, you, you're starting to get some of these blues mixing with the hydrogen. Uh, the, the hydrogen is just popping. There's this this dark, the dark structure, and I, I mean, I just cannot wait to get some serious integration time now uh, with this telescope out here for narrowband targets. I, I could use it on these RGB targets. Just it's just so amazing uh, how fast it acquires the data. Um, just just so much better than anything I've I've used to date, and the stars. The, the colors and just how they look. I mean, the stars don't even look real at this point compared to my other 
my other imaging setups. It's just it's just so amazing, even the this light reflection that it's it's capturing in there. I moved on from the second light test. I, I slew over to IC three four two and just kind of finished up the the imaging evening with that. Oh, this is the red channel. I, I want to do a full RGB and narrowband continuum subtracted for IC342. It's, I don't know, you don't see it image too often, and it's a really nice, fairly big galaxy out there. And I, I just can't wait to get some serious um, integration time on this target. I mean, the core kind of is spiraled. Its plane looks different than the, the actual main plane of the whole face on galaxy so i i'm just i'm just really excited and looking forward to uh like i said getting some serious integration time i know some of you have been on the fence about whether you should get uh maybe this particular kind of imaging newtonian i'm gonna have to say i can't recommend this enough um if your mount can support the weight or if your back can support the weight hauling it around um i <laughs> These things just can't be beat for the for the price. Uh, I can't thank the person enough that actually suggested I get an imaging newt uh, over some of the other telescopes I was looking at. Uh, I, I, I like I said, I can't be more impressed, and I am so excited about this. I hope this helps some of you make a decision uh, if you are in the market to to get another telescope. I do have affiliate links now if you, you want to buy it from Agena or High Point Scientific. Uh, be sure to use my affiliate link and support the channel. Please comment, like, and subscribe.